Hello Wastelanders, Wanderer here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 Horizon. Today we get to go and test out our brand new power armor. Super stoked about that. It has at least like three, maybe four or five times the damage reduction of our old one. And uh, yeah, it's really good. So pretty excited about that. Gotta get some food and stuff here to make sure we don't have any parasites. We don't. In fact, we're in pretty good shape. So we'll do uh, Death Claw Steak, why not? There's that, some melon juice. And that should take care of everything. Oh, really? Two left, huh? Just two. Well, we're gonna... We're just gonna have to deal with that, because I don't want to really care about two left. Uh, let's see, there we go. There's the uh, button for turning that off. Nora's all set. Good enough, anyway. Kind of short on our um, two millimeter rounds. Let me see what I've got. How many of those I can craft? Let me check here. Okay, so we got about a hundred then. Should be fine. All right, so we should be all set. We're gonna go and do the Brotherhood of Steel quest. I believe it's Show No Mercy. Let me check here. Yeah, we're going to go and kill a bunch of, um, let's see here. Can we do, we can do Boston Airport. Can we also do the Pridwin? Looks like no, we can just do Boston Airport, which is fine. Now you just set up Boston Airport, but I should see what's changed there. Maybe it's like worth setting up now. Uh, maybe it has a whole bunch of extra area. Maybe there's even some uh, seafront property we could possibly use for some more salt Having water. Having the Pridwin moored above the airport keeps the Brotherhood within striking distance of the city. Let's take a look here. At the very least, I can scrap all this stuff, and uh, yeah, it's worth it for that. Okay, um... Yeah, actually, it's on the sea, so I don't see why we wouldn't be able to. Let me do a scrap all on this place. I'll uh, do a quick save here. And then we'll do a scrap all. Okay, we are good to go. Nice and clear. I mean, this isn't a bad spot. This would be a great place for, like, a market, maybe, type settlement. That, that would work out okay. All right, so um, we want to go to production, basic production. Yes, there is uh, seawater extractors available here. So then let's go ahead and dump into here a resource station. I know I have one, at least. Yeah, scrap kit resource station. And now I can make a resource station here. Okay, let's see what our most recent place is. Probably Coastal Cottage. That works for me. Okay, so, um, set our supply line to Coastal Cottage. And now we should be hooked up with everything. And we are, so now we need to set up a couple of seawater extractors, because why not? We want all these we can get. And these don't even require any power to run. Come on now. I know I don't have to have it turn yellow or turn uh, white to actually place it, but I kind of like to just because for whatever reason. So we got those going. Um, I guess I'll get a recruitment beacon and stuff going here and we'll get some recruits and whatnot going, because why not? Can I actually go up on top of here and stuff too, although you can't scrap stuff up there? It's kind of weird. You can go... Well, maybe not. Maybe you can't go up there. I don't know. If I build something up there... Like, what's the limits of the, uh, the workshop here? Let me build some stairs and check. 
kind of curious. No, this way. That'll do. Okay, so it's it's up to here, and that's pretty much it. Like, you can't go beyond... This wall is basically the, uh, the limits of the workshop area. Okay, got it. Good to know. Alright, well, uh, we don't have a huge area here, but let's at least put down a recruitment station... And get a basic generator going here. Really? Do I need to turn you a bit, or what's the deal here? For the love of God, why can't I... Oh, it was clipping into the uh, the top part, that's why. It actually attaches on top, okay. Now, as far as, like, structures, man, there's not a lot of room here. Um, the best I could think of that I could do would be to, like, try to repair this entire thing. Which would be cool. I'd be, uh, there's not, like, a... You know it would be neat? Zawanul, if you're watching. What would be neat is if you could, like, spend a whole bunch of concrete to repair this entire area and make it, like, fortified. Like, um... Let me see something here. Concrete walls are gonna be way too small, I think, for this, yeah. They match the texture pretty well. But they're just a lot smaller. Surface snap is on, but it's, like, not snapping properly. Yeah, these are too small. Um, what about... What if I did, like... Are there half walls? There aren't, are there? I don't think there are. Um, so concrete's probably out. These are about the correct height, at least for this, but then they're not really for this. I don't know. I mean, this works okay. You'd almost have to, like, uh... Put some of these down. Maybe, like, a double gate could work. Something like that might work okay. I'm just spitballing here, guys. Just thinking about different things I could do. Kind of hard to line it up. I mean, it, it, it lines up decently with the, um, the ceiling. Or with this, the walls, like where the ceiling would be on the walls. And it kind of curves around, doesn't it? I don't, there's no curved thing I could use except for like concrete. It's the only like curved structure you can get, and I don't even know if that would really fit. No, it, it's way too, um, this curve is way too severe. You could, like... You could maybe go... Like that, and then cut it off. Actually, that works pretty well. Line up with that pretty well? It does. It lines up with that line really well. That could be okay. Just enclose this entire area. 
it actually is lining up surprisingly pretty well. Like, it's not perfect. But I think it's good enough. I want to go, like, one back because this starts to curve a little bit early. I don't know. I don't like how that sticks over. It'd be it'd be fine if it was over here. What if we do it over here? I did not intend for this to be a building episode, guys. I swear to God I didn't. I had no intentions of building a base today. I was all about going and testing out the new power armor. When I got an idea. And here we are. Come on. There we go. This should actually work pretty well. Yeah, it, it actually... It actually lines up just about perfect. Uh, it's kind of funny. I didn't... I didn't intend for it to be that nicely set up, but it... I think it looks pretty cool. We'll just keep going. I guess if you really wanted to be um, lore-friendly, you could use uh, metal for this instead. Oh my gosh, I can't get this to snap now. Okay, try that. There we go. Is it, like, perfectly lined up? I am... I'm shocked at how well this is turning out. Okay, we should do like a door over here for sure. Yeah, and, uh, and there it is. We've enclosed this area like, damn near perfectly. And, uh, you could go, like, a half wall, probably? Yeah, and that'll- that'll actually work pretty well. Be lined up quite nicely. That's pretty goddamn cool, I have to admit. Okay. It's cool, but, um, I- I got stuff to do, you know? Um, so, we're gonna, like... We're gonna toss some beds in here. We're gonna move this stuff later, probably, but we're gonna toss some beds in here for now. Because you know I'll come back and there'll be like 50 million new settlers. And I'll do some defense and stuff too, just to make people happy here. It's not even gonna be like... in good positions or anything. Isn't actually bad right here. Okay, there's that, and then uh, we don't really care about food or water. And then, I guess I can put some shops in here. I have a whole bunch of room for shops. Like, I don't know how I want to lay it out or anything, though, is a problem. Um, I'd like to fill this entire area in with, like, inner rooms and stuff. And, uh, and have walls and everything and have this be the little open market, you know? Let me see here. Um, I want some warehouse doors. The big doors. Yeah, these things. I could do one of these. I could do one of these instead. Does this work okay? Yeah, that does work okay. 
Um, this be in the Brotherhood? No. Can I run this all the way over here? Probably not with that there, but if it was out a bit, I bet I could. Uh, maybe not. What if I just, like, put it right here? And attach it? Yeah, that, that works. And then we just move it. Afterwards. Yeah, that works for me. Guys, I have I have grand plans for this. Like I have this is I, I have a good feeling about this. This could be really really cool. I have good ideas about this, but uh, we don't have time right now. I'll think about it more and come back later. It's, it's a settlement I've never touched before, though. You know, and like it's a really it's a really cool idea, and I've somehow I have managed to line this up like damn near perfectly, and uh, without really trying. So yeah, that's pretty neat. I think if I really were to go lore friendly though, I'd use all like sheet metal because there are, um, of course, planes everywhere over here that would have lots of, you know, plain sheet metal we could use for building them up. Can't grab any fusion. Okay, you can't. Grab these? I can. Oh, just go ahead and uh, liberate the uh, stuff laying on the ground here. Make sure it doesn't fall into any hands of ill repute or anything. Alright, we gotta go up top and we gotta go meet Max and... There's no time to waste when there's work to be done. Yeah, but you're just like walking around doing nothing, lady. Don't give me that. Oh, you gotta do a sign. Yeah, research for sure. <laughs> Babysitting feels Okay, let's see Max and he's um over here I think. This should be fun though. Uh, I'm gonna go and test out our new armor on the muties. Familiarized yourself with the Prigman's crew. Are you ready for your next assignment, sister? Yes, Elder. Good. Let's get right to it then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. It'll be a pleasure to exterminate that mutant filth. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. All right, boys. Let's do it. I actually love this mission, although this vertebrate is probably going to die because uh, that behemoth is super hard to take down with the minigun on the, the vertebrate. It's just not very good. Welcome aboard, Knight. Instruments are green, and we're clear for release. You have to admit, like, there was nothing like this in previous fallouts. Like, there was nothing where you got into a vertebrate and flew around in the game and got to shoot a minigun at shit. Like, that's pretty cool. You know, say what you will about Fallout 4, but it made some advancements in terms of uh, what you can do in the game. Even though it's not perfect, you know, we got stuff loading in the background over here. That There's LOD issues. Hello. No, come back! Almost got him. Target acquired. I'll try to keep him in your sight.
Oh, shit. Dude, am I dead? No, I'm good. I knew that shit was gonna happen, dude. Bro. <laughs> Bro, we got shot down. We got shot down real hard. Okay, hold on. Hold on, boys. We got a lot of shit to take care of here. Oh my god. Okay. Um, yeah, so... The vertebrates, uh, they don't scale very well in Horizon. They, they kind of get wrecked really easy. Um, so let's... I'm gonna use some drugs here, I think. Let's do some, uh, some Psycho Buff. Let's do some... I don't have any Buff Tats. I don't think I have any. Um, let's do some... Yeah, maybe just Psycho Buff is good enough. I think we have to use a combat stim here, though. Nope. Wrong. Wrong. Key. Run, Nora. Fuck. Run. Dance, you are not helping out here at all, buddy. Got this combat stim pack getting... Okay. Reload. explosives I do it's not super useful I wanted a fight. okay then I guess we're going back on foot Let's play, little human. the whole overwhelming force brotherhood thing doesn't uh, doesn't work very well in horizon not when you're going against enemies that are this strong and with a minigun that's like a pea shooter does no damage at all. You see why the minigun needs buffed? So I know maybe you should buff the vertebrates too. Cuz uh yeah, where are we? Okay, we're we're very close at least cause I have this place. That's good. Okay. Do I have any first aid kits? Just use a bandage just fine. Yeah, dropping you off right in the middle, <laughs> right in the middle of everything. We fell out and fell on our face. And like, it's not like I was doing anything wrong there. Like, okay, sorry, had to sneeze real quick. I muted myself. I have a mute button now, so in case I have to do something like that, I can mute myself. But yeah, like I was definitely, you know, pretty well on the mark and stuff. Um, just not much I could do about that. Because, you know, normally I would take take stuff out from a, a distance, like, from back here. Not that close to everything. Kind of hilarious, actually. What we got here? Some 40. No, don't do that, nor... Proceed carefully. These fortifications... I just want to take the stuff. May still be inhabited. Would, do you think so, Dance? Really? What would make you think that? I can't imagine why you would think that. Nothing's spawning yet. They must have gave us the worst vertebrate in the fleet, man. Let me tell you. Dance. Oh. Oh, no. Awesome. Dance, what are you doing? Dance, this is a bad idea. I... Okay. Well, you're fucked, Dance. Oh, okay, you teleported back behind me. Oh, the AI is going crazy, too. This is great. Dance, could you... What What are you doing? This is not how you are stealthy. You don't run around like a crackhead. You hear that? Nice try. That's how we 
do it in the Brotherhood. <sighs> Negative visual on the top. Hostiles, He's right there. Tango down. Psst. Awaiting your command. Oh, maybe, maybe we're good now. Psst. Go ahead. Maybe we're good now. I think we got them all. Well, there's a behemoth still. Definitely haven't killed him yet. Yeah, there he is. Yeah, it's a big boy. It's a lot of damage. What are you... This is not a good time to attack Mr. Raider. Like, there's a behemoth over there. Maybe it's not the best time. Jesus Christ. I am stuck. <laughs> Did you see his head? <laughs> Did you see his head just flapping up and down like crazy? Oh my god. That was kind of hilarious. Really nothing that good though, to be honest. Like, it's nothing that impressive. Oh my god. It was worth it for that alone. Okay, let's go and loot stuff. Well, it's been a funny episode, if nothing else. Um, yeah. Yeah, the armor is good, but um, it ain't that good. Like, even with all that, like, it's not that great. There must be something significant in this area to merit these Well, yes, Dance. They told us there were going to be some. We're taking too many rads. We need to move out. I'm barely taking any rads, my dude. I got the good armor on. Uh, but yeah, they told us there were going to be fat mans and manukes. Careful. What the? I am detecting I enemies alone. tracking your position. Was I that low on health? Was I actually that low? I didn't even see, but like, I guess I was super low on health. Cause, yeah. I like how I'm in power armor. I shot him at least three or four times in the head. And he shot me twice and just destroyed me. Maybe I was super low health though. I don't know. It's possible. Okay. Oh my God, 200 caps. Jesus. This is making me think that, like, it's just not possible to play this um, unless you're doing a sniper build because. Hold up. I think we're being stalked. Really, how would you deal with the damage? You just have to not get hit. Right? That's kind of what it comes down to. I was probably at low health already, but maybe he's just using API rounds as well. Like, API rounds go straight through your armor and just destroy you instantly. 
Doesn't matter how much armor you have. We'll find out shortly, once I kill him and see what's on his body. That was nuts though, I had raiders attack me, I had gunners attack me, in the middle of all that. I had two different groups attacking me. Are you guys really gonna be down there? I heard something. I guess I'm going for a swim. I definitely want their stuff. Wait, where's Radex at? Do I not have any Radex? I have Rado. Oh, there it is. What? <laughs> what is going on? Oh my god. This guy. This guy. Oh man, this twitching is great. Is this the one that has the good shit? Let me see. No, this is not the good stuff. Or is it? Yeah, this is the good stuff. This one decapitated. Okay. I can't transfer stuff. I'm taking rads, I guess. Hunting rifle. It's just a hunting rifle. It wasn't any, like, API rounds or anything crazy. Let me check to make sure I didn't miss any API. No, just 308. Just right. I must have been low health. Okay. Oh, stop bitching. I must have been low health, and they just got me that way. It did take a lot of shots to the noggin, though, or pretty sure it was the head. This is why nobody brings you dance because you bitch the whole time. Okay, I gotta I gotta get out so I can see everything. I still got it. Gotta hop out here so I can see um Watch your step. where the bodies are at. The inside should be better. But yeah, that was kind of... It's kind of a bad job on my part. Well, I don't even know if it's my part. Just my build's not really suited for that. Maybe I should just... I don't know. I think you have to get on the vertibird. And I think there's just, like, nothing for it. I'd prefer to knock you on the vertebrate, but I'm pretty sure you kind of have to if you want to complete the mission. I guess I could, you know... There, There's our pilot. Rest in peace, sister. Always, always wondered what would happen. Okay, God. that one was a little bit devious right there, Zawano. We got a lot of these around here. I always wonder what would happen if you got blown out of the sky. I guess if you're in power armor, you can live. Alright, I think that's all the mutants. There aren't that many out here. Well, I hope at least this has been entertaining for you guys, if nothing else. I still can't get over that behemoth just like standing there bugged out, bugged out while I unload an entire clip, an entire magazine into his forehead. I guess they have pretty high armor. It's 
Sorry, just taking the sights. Stuff looks pretty cool out there. Alright, here we go. Might have been a trash to pick through here. Searching through it could prove beneficial. Labor in agreement dance. Because I have a mod that makes you more amenable to me looting stuff. No green stuff here. Buckethead would show up. Let's get the legs clean off. Got it. Those guys are rather tough. Still in combat? Dan's just standing over there, not helping at all. That's typical. Try to stay low and loot a little bit while I'm healing back up here. Just using this thing because this laser rifle, because I have a lot of ammo for it, so. Figure I'll use it up and then probably ditch it on our next outing and just stick with the. Uh, stick with the uh, assault rifle and. the gauze rifle. I'm going to have to start making 7.62 ammo because I just don't think that uh, 5.56 is going to kite anymore. Just not strong enough. Thanks, Dance. Gotcha. Dance. For fuck's sake, dude. Hey, over there. Need something? Your AI cannot possibly be this brain dead. No more game. Jesus, you're dumb, buddy. The the AI the comments are like just making it way worse. It's like he's so oblivious to everything going on around him, it's hilarious. That might be everyone on this level, I don't know. I can't scrap these, by the way, in the field. It just super mutants don't work past a certain point for some reason. I'm not sure why, but that's just how it is. Let's go back real quick and check this room. Right. 
Oh, I can't get over to that one, can I? Ooh boy, two bottle caps. So worth it. You'd find, uh, in the base game, you'd find fusion cores in these things all the time. Yeah, T60 Torso. Too bad I already got one. Purified water is a nice find, at least. Okay, that should be it up here. Except there were just mutants in here that we fought. But yeah, otherwise, sure. Okay, downstairs we go. Dance. Get into position. Got it. Hold. Roger. Holding position. Just stand there. Stay out of my way. Purified water. There's a couple over there. Soon, 
Gotta come out sooner or later. Come on, dude. It wasn't too bad. I just seems like ballistics aren't as effective against these guys as uh, lasers are. Maybe that's their use. Killing mutants. I probably should check for individual enemies, ER and DR, to see what they are. I do have the, um, well, I guess I'm not wearing them, though. The scanning goggles. I can't use them when I'm in the power armor, though. I guess I just have to take the perk or whatever. No, though, it definitely feels like I'm starting to be lacking in my firepower. Okay, was that everybody? Or more importantly, was that everything? All of this stuff. We got all of this stuff. Looks like it. done. Not too much else to this. Let's go talk to Dance, I think. Maybe I have to have Dance with me when I come down here. I'm not sure. Before it completes the mission. Aren't you okay up here, buddy? Dance. Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Absolutely. Wiping them out was a pleasure. I wish all of mankind shared your sentiment. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward, only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated. And maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Don't apologize. It reminds me why I'm doing this. Thank you, sister. It's good to know you're taking my advice to heart. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. 
I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. Okie dokie. Well, mission successful if uh, it was a bit rough. But, uh, yeah, power armor's good. Not as good as I thought it'd be, but it's still good. It certainly is an improvement. I mean, I would have had a lot tougher time if I didn't have it, right? So, um... Yeah. But it does kind of make me think that being sneaky is sort of the way to be in Horizon just because the damage incoming uh, is pretty high. Though I don't know. Um, power armor doesn't really hinder you from being sneaky that much, doesn't seem like, so... So we need to walk all the way. Oh, this is a long ass head walk. Back to the I'll take care of the shells and the mess. Geiger's going crazy with the soup. Yeah, this is a long ass walk. Well, it's not that bad. I can walk back to um you know, I, you know what I need is a button to like hold my rifle like this. Because when I hold it like this to the side, it's um it's not all running all weird and stuff. There's one I missed. This is much more reasonable. Do you like... Do you get to go back on the vertebrate afterwards, usually? I can't remember, but of course, you know, my vertebrate blew up because they gave me the worst vertebrate in the fleet. And the worst minigun in the fleet was firing mostly blanks. Must have been that practical joker, Reese. Put a bunch of blanks into my uh, my magazine for my minigun. What a dickhead. Got that Lancer captain killed. But yeah, we'll walk back over to uh, the settlement here. And we can just go back to the Boston airport with the fast travel from here. I haven't gone back to here and checked it for a while either. I guess there are probably a whole bunch of new people here. What do I even do with this? Just put a bunch of beds, beds in here properly? Let's see. Yeah, 24 beds. Not that many people here, actually. Very bad happiness. I guess because there's no food and water and they have nothing to do. They're just wandering around with no jobs. Suppose that makes them upset. Yeah, they're just like all not working. Okay, well, if you're all unhappy, I guess I can give you jobs. That might help things along here. There's a full bar here that I can put, um, like a job here, right? I can put a vendor mat. Yeah, food and drink. I can actually put anything on there. Like anything works there. It's interesting. Okay. Let's do a tailoring shop back here. It seems like a good... Maybe a maybe a medical shop back here. Already got the diner. One, do we don't... We do, yeah. We already have a diner. So maybe a... Um, maybe a general store here? Could work okay. Then we got room somewhere over here. Maybe next floor for a, um, this is all living area. This is too. I think these are all living areas up here. Can't do anything else up here. What I want is, um, 
a spot to put in like a weapons area, weapon surplus area, and some other stuff. To give these guys some some, some jobs, should they ain't so should they ain't so unhappy. Y'all are pissed off at me right now because you have no jobs. Alright, um. We got plenty of beds and stuff, so let's do. I need a building. Just a basic structure here. Maybe we'll have like a roadside uh, trading area over here. That might work out. I've seen some pretty cool areas people have built before. I think we'll just make this like an open market, though. Alright, so what else we have here that we can do as far as stores go? We got weapons. Thinking about how I want to do this. Yeah, this is fine. Weapons, armor, tailor. And the rest we already did, I think. This is probably fine there. That's, that's good. Okay, got room to grow now, even. You guys can have more stuff over here. I'll do some more water and food here, too, because apparently you're getting pissed off because you don't have that. Getting all upset about it, even though you have water and food aplenty. I think this is just more efficient, period. Even though we're on the water, I'd prefer to use the uh, the, the water ones since we're on the water. Takes six, produces 20. Yeah, this is just like better on the whole, overall. Where do I want to put it at? This kind of looks like it's pre-war, so I want to put it somewhere that it kind of looks um, reasonable, you know? And I don't really see anywhere that it would look reasonable to put it. Not the kind of structure you'd have out front, you know? Okay, well, in the middle of nowhere it goes. I don't know where to put it, so there it is. And this requires 20... 15 power. Easy enough to do. There's your water. Take a look here. Um, I'll make a small area over here as well for um, some food. Think we'll see the Minutemen again? Who knows? I wouldn't count on it. If you ask me, they're done for. You. Yeah. I mean, you're probably right. I was going to do automated, but I don't have to do automated. Like, I don't have stuff for these people to do as it is, so... I guess I can just plant some stuff and have them harvest it, yeah? No reason to waste my materials and automated stuff right now. When I don't have things for these people to do as it is.
There you go. You got some carrots, you got some corn. I'll plant more as you get more people. That's everything you should need. I, I like how the kid is the doctor. That's great. That's actually hilarious. Okay, that's there you go. Guys, be happy now. I need to make a... Oh, I already have one. Okay. Let's go talk to... Um, go to Boston Airport. Yeah, I don't see an option here for Pridwin one yet. Let's go to Boston Airport. And we'll uh, go up from there. Talk to Max and get this quest turned in and get the dailies unlocked. Actually, might wait until next episode, guys. I think I'm going to probably end it here. You We're over an hour. Yeah, we'll go up here next time, guys. Next episode, we'll go up and talk to Maxon, get our daily quests, and then, uh, yeah, figure out what we're going to do. So, yeah, first uh, test of the armor was a success. The vertebird let us down. I'm going to call it the vertebird's fault on that mission, guys. We got the worst vertebird in the fleet. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.